Okay, so here's a clip on how to use your TI Inspire to do the financial maths questions. Okay, so this is relating to compound interest. And um, we're going to answer this question here in a moment. This is the formula you'll see in your formula booklet. And I'm going to talk you through this first, okay, and the basic principles of compound interest. And then I'm going to show you how to do it quickly on your TI Inspire. Okay, so. First of all, here's a question. Um, Holly invests £15,000 into an account that pays 4.25% interest per annum, compounded monthly. Um, how much is her investment worth after five years? Okay, so uh, there's several things to consider. First of all, it's compounded monthly. That means every month it's going to calculate interest, and this is the annual rate, okay? 4.25%. All right, so. The formula, these are things you need to put into the formula here if you're going to use this, right? First things first, it says um, this here is your future value. So this is basically how much she's going to get back in five years' time. So the future value is what we're working out. So let's put a question mark against that. All right, PV is the present value. So how much is the how much has she got now, basically? So she has £15,000 to invest right now. Okay, then we have R, which obviously stands for the rate, and that rate is 4.25%. And then K, and then this letter N, okay, here in the power, is how many years she's going to invest it for, and that's for five years. Okay, and then the next thing to consider is this letter K. K is basically how many times interest is going to be calculated in one year. So... Is, uh, interest is going to be calculated every month, so that's 12 times a year. Okay, so we're just going to put all that information into this formula here. So the future value, her return, basically how much she's going to get in five years' time, is equal to £15,000 times, big bracket, 1 plus, okay, inside the bracket it's 4.25% over 100, and that's not 100K, it's 100 times K, which is 12, to the power of 12 times uh, 5. Okay, so let me just squeeze in 5 there. Okay, so this is what you have to calculate. So let's do it on the calculator now. Okay, so let me escape out of that. Right, so we need to do 15,000 times, okay, bracket 1 plus, okay, and let me just look at the fraction again. The fraction is 4.25 divided by 100 times 12. So it's a good idea to use the fraction template. So control, divide, and then it's 4.25. In here, it's 100 times 12. Okay, and then push all the way across. And we want a power. Okay, make sure the power is outside this bracket. Okay, and it doesn't put a big bracket around everything. It's outside this bracket, and it's 12 times five years and we press enter and we get eighteen thousand five hundred forty four pounds and fifty pence okay so eighteen five four four and fifty pence okay so that's how much she's going to get in five years time but if the question asks you for the interest so how much interest she's going to get over five years well the th th this is the present value or the principal of the capital and this is the return or the uh, what the, the feature value okay but the interest is the difference oops is the difference between the two okay so the interest is um this figure take away the 15000 so the difference between the two of them is three thousand five hundred and forty four pounds and fifty pence okay so that's the interest if they ask you to work that out right but I'm going to show you now how to do all of this on the calculator really really quickly okay using the financial solver okay so let me clear the annotations right okay so we're going to answer the same question I'm going to get the same answer 18,544 but we're going to use the feature on the, the financial solver on the calculator. Okay, now here's how you get to it. So our answer is this. So we go to menu, and then we go down to finance, 
and a cross, and it's the first one, financial solver, okay? And you have these various cells which we need to enter in various figures, okay? So first of all, N, okay, so let us let me write, the down, write down the key ones first of all. So you have um, N, I, and then it says PV, which obviously stands for present value, um, PM, uh, PMT, which stands for payment, okay, FV, PPY and CPY. Okay, right, so when I'm using the financial solver, I write down this first of all and I just fill in the information I know. Okay, so first of all, N. This stands for how many years she's going to borrow for. And then, and if you look in the textbook, it is slightly different. It's slightly differently done, this example here. Um, but I found a little trick that how she can condenses the amount of work you need to do with it anyway. So here's the, here's a little trick. So um, n is how many years? So she's going to invest it for five years. So five. Um, I stands for the interest rate, which is four point two five. Okay. Now PV is the present value, and you have to put. Well, okay, it's fifteen thousand. Okay. All right. PMT stands for, if we go actually go down to this cell here, if we press the tab button, that's the best way to go to the next one, it says payment. She's not making any payments, oops, sorry, she's not making any payments, so you can get rid of that. Okay, future value is the one we want, so put a question mark against this. Right, PPY, never change this, so just keep this at 1, okay, do not even change the value in that cell, just press tab. And if you accidentally do change the cell value, change it back to one, okay? This is the little trick. This is the way it condenses the amount of work you have to do. So ignore that completely, the PPY, and keep it at one. All right, CPY is how many times in one year interest is going to be calculated, the compounding period. So it's compounded monthly, so that's 12 times in a year. Okay, so what we need to do is enter the, these values into the cell, into the correct cell, and then we're going to go down to the one which is FV, the future value, and I'm going to press enter on that, it's going to tell us the answer. Okay, so, right, so if we press the tab, okay, let's go back to the top. Okay, so the top value in there is number of years, and we put five. Okay, tab, the interest rate is 4.25. Okay, it's got the percentage sign. All right, here's where you have to do something different. Okay, so the present value was 15,000, but for the sake of the calculator, we have to type in, we always have to type in minus, okay, and then there's minus 15,000, okay? It's just the way it's set up, so you have to type in minus here. Okay, payments, there aren't any payments. Future value, we'll come back to that in a moment. This is the one that you keep at one. Do not change this at all. Keep this at one, okay? Right, compounding periods. This is changed to 12, okay, and then press tab. And go down now to the one we want. Okay, we put a question mark against the future value. So just press enter on that, and there you go. There's our answer: eighteen thousand five hundred forty-four pounds and fifty-three pence, roughly. Okay, and this financial solver does a lot more. Okay, so the next videos talks about other things you can solve on this. Okay, so here's how you can quickly do it.